As we jump into this. Let's see how it goes. It's just a weird map because of the colours on it, honestly, in my own opinion. Um, it's a bit different. It kind of makes things all sorts of different shades, and it's, it's it's different. It's weird. It's weird to look at, I feel. So, top right-hand side, our Red Terran player is Innovation. His opponent to the bottom left-hand side is the Teal or Blue Terran player. It is Optimus. Some Terran versus Terran here. Then Innovation will play against Snoot to wrap up our day. And we're also going to be having a... Uh, match between Nurture and Parting to wrap up the day as well to confirm what our round of 8 is going to look like at the end of today's stream. So we'll know exactly what's going on, exactly what's happening, etc, etc. Alright, so set up into this and seeing what's going to happen. Mm, so we do just have obviously TVT, the matchup where really so many different builders can happen in such an early stage of the game. And we already see some differences here as the single gas from Innovation will be an expansion focused style whereas Optimus with the double gas will be taking his expansion a little bit later on. So obviously Optimus will be the one who will be looking to be a bit more aggressive and even Optimus has different choices himself right now. Does he go in towards just the factory? Does he add a starport as well? And if he doesn't then he can get a bit of a fast expand. Are we going to see cyclones from these players? A lot of questions up in the air at the moment. For now, what we know for sure is the exact kind of direction of the builds, which is expansion versus no expansion for the time being. So getting that going, getting that underway here on Lost and Found, game number one. As we do see this SCV coming across over to the right-hand side. Getting ready to go. SCV comes down to the south. Going to be seeing the reactor coming up, the factory into play as well, of course, as we mentioned before. Optus is, uh, on his side, already got a Reaper and Cyclone coming for, and he did skip that starport to go in towards his own CC. So in the end, his command set is not going to be too much later, he just has a little bit of extra aggression in the early stages. Let's see what he can do, his two Reapers already picking off an SCV, which is just scanned for innovation, trying to pick up info, and he does see that later expansion coming in. Alright, so, as Innovation Zone Expand finishes, both of them are building some Cyclones. Innovation Reactor in his factory already. Optimus still just building up his reactor here. So both builds getting you into a little bit of a different... Uh, again, both plays into kind of a little bit of a different position here. So Cyclones going to come up two at a time now from Innovation. And Optimus is going to do the same momentarily as well. I mean, both players ended up in a very similar position here. No starport cyclone production with an expansion up. They've just taken very slightly different routes to get here. Very interesting to see that happening. As we are just going to be seeing those cyclones continue to pop out. And just going to be seeing the couple of Reapers getting pushed away as well by Optimus. But Hellion's still chasing, by the way, and is going to be uh, grabbing perhaps a Reaper kill. Ooh, Hellion's going to get low, but it's not quite going to go down. So both these Reapers will get picked off. Nicely done. But then the Cyclones arrive and then the Hellion and Reaper goes down for innovation. So he does have to turn that away there and pull back towards the upper right-hand side. Two Cyclones coming up from each player here at the moment as we're going to be seeing that Supply Deeper coming down behind the Mineral Line. And it's going to be seeing the third Command Center from innovation coming up as well. Both players going up to the third base here at the moment as we're going to be seeing some Cyclones setting up and getting ready to go. Just going to see... Triple CC Cyclone player, please. And the Cyclones really will benefit from just being in higher numbers. So who's going to be able to take the better fight? Cyclones can go out of control so quickly and so easily. I was going to be seeing them pushing up this ramp here, but 5 against 4 already. Optimus can't fight that. And up a ramp, no way, but he does turn and he gets a kill. And that's how quickly a Cyclone Battle can turn around. Very nicely done there by Optimus. So he picks off the Cyclone. As so we are just going to be seeing another factory coming up on the bottom left-hand side in the main base. A couple of factories coming up. Well, sorry, a factory in the starport coming up. Starting going towards that Sky Terran play, perhaps. 
We saw it in Euphermal's uh, TVT series the other day against MMA. The just ch opportunity to try and play like pure Sky Terran throughout the game in TVT after the early stages of mech play. So it was actually pretty interesting to watch. So interested to see what's uh, going to be uh, coming up next. A few cyclones setting up. See a few cyclones in this upper right hand side. Couple mules dropping down and again just another factory finishing up from innovation, which is gonna jump onto another reactor, so really just all about the cyclone play. As already Optimus looking for that air control. Innovation with his extra gas is gonna throw down armories, and with his armories coming up, he's going to be able to go into the upgrades and that's going to really turn cyclone battles on their heads because upgrades are such a huge deal for cyclones with how fast they fire they benefit from attack upgrades and armor upgrades against other cyclones so so much it's going to be seeing the uh, cyclone still top right as we're going to be seeing this uh, command center down here orbital on the way up it's going to be seeing the plus one vehicle weapons coming in as well on that armory. And we're just going to be seeing two more armories of Optimus dropping down behind this mineral line. Factory lifts up and drops down onto the tech lab. Another tech lab going to be dropping on as well in the next few moments. I'm just going to be seeing another couple of Vikings from Optimus still building up. That air control really is going to be his. I guess the Cyclones, of course, can fight against the air control to some extent. But there's nothing quite like having Vikings of your own. So... See how this uh, ends up as we see Cyclones coming to the south side. Innovation may be the one looking to attack here initially. I mean, one Sank is on its own, and that's just going to go down in seconds. It disappears just like that, and a couple of SCVs do as well. Because now that base is going to take some damage as well. More SCVs are dropping. The Vikings will have to land to help out, and that's where Innovation just backs away and gets into a bit of a better concave here to keep trading this out. A lot of the Optimus Cyclones are disappearing at the moment. The Vikings are gone. Uh, yeah, I mean... Air, uh, you know, air advantage, so what? If you just lose all the Vikings, it doesn't really matter as Optimus is going to trade out. He traded out here towards the very end. Innovation still grabbing himself. Another heli and another tank towards the latter stages. Eight workers going down too. And, well, more Cyclones are arriving. So Pure Cyclone is still going to keep on pushing in. Going to be pushing in towards this uh, third base in the next couple of moments. And, well, Quad Cyclone here is that Viking moves on away. And that's going to be pretty much it. As you're going to see both of those going down. The siege tank gets killed. GG is called. And Innovation takes game one of this series. <coughs> innovation takes the first game. We're going to be... And jump into our action. To the top left hand side. Up a game. It's our Red Terror employer. Innovation. And to the bottom left-hand side, his opponent from Team Revolution is Optimus. <clears throat> so again, set up, getting ready to go. As you get this ready to roll, a barracks on the way down from both players. Now, Backpipe from Gazish is one of the new map cat is a map from the new category because you do have a fairly normal natural and moves out to a bit of a weirder third. But you might notice you've got a bit of a weird natural as well. Down this ramp, you can have a gold base. But I imagine no one will take this in the TVT because, well, units from your opponent can sit behind that gold base and Marines, tanks, Hellions, Cyclones, anything from a Terran player is going to be... Terran doesn't have melee units, right? So anything from a Terran is going to be able to... Uh, Basically, city and deny that mining. So, gold base, I don't think are going to be too much of a thing on this map. I'd be surprised if either of these players tried to hold one. Um, that said, I mean, it is possible that maybe you kind of take it and put a tank there to defend it. So, we'll see. But pretty much every time we've seen this map so far, we have seen a player trying to hold it. Um, or hold a gold base. And it hasn't worked out too well for them. So, we'll see if that's going to be any different now, this time around, as these couple of SCVs going forwards. Nibbling away at the SCV of Optimus. And the command center coming down on the natural. As he backs away down the left hand side again, as we do see a factory coming in. So, again, expansion from both. As Optimus, oh my god, he actually is going to go for it. He's going to try and take the gold base here. That's so. That's just so crazy that he's actually going to try and take the gold base. Ah, it's just like. 
Huh. Well, I'm very intrigued to see if he can actually hold on to it. I'm very uh, interested to see what he's going to set up to as we uh, get this rolling. Can he actually defend it? Is just my straight up first question. I mean, we're going to find out soon enough. There's a Reaper on the way here from Optimus. The Reaper of uh, Innovation is already arriving, though. There is a Reaper of Optimus on the map, but it's actually back in his main a little bit. So he's actually going to lose an SCV because of that. Does he get the first shot on that Reaper? Can he actually keep up enough? No, he's going to hold position. He's not going to run in just in case of a second re Reaper arriving in the near future. Factory. Starting up a Hellion here as a Cyclone starts from Innovation. He's on the reactor once again. As we're just going to be seeing Optimus a little bit slower on the reactor himself. Because he went for two Reapers rather than one. So I imagine he'll swap the Hellion or the factory onto the reactor now. And then start to react out those Cyclones in the near future. So again, a similar setup to the last game. Just Optimus expanding a bit faster this time around. As we are going to be seeing that one Reaper just on the other side. And this is where it already gets annoying, right? Just sit here and pick away at some workers. It's just an annoyance that you have to deal with. As a Hellion comes in as well. And now a Reaper Hellion against two Reapers. Depends on the connections a little bit. But uh, I thought he was going to get the splash on the first connection. Which would have gone a long way to helping out. As you're going to be seeing this uh, first Reaper does go down. And well, now the Cyclone arrives. I just, again, I mean, I look at this mineral line. I'm like, how do you defend it? Well, so far you don't. As the Cyclone just sits here and it can hit the CC as well. I mean, Optimus tried to be greedy. He tried to expand into this gold, and right now it's just not working. One Cyclone is denying everything. A new SCV pops out. It gets taken down. Multiple SCVs just not able to mine. And, I mean, Innovation, what reason does he have to ever move away from this position now? He's just constantly denying the natural expansion of his opponent. Okay, two Cyclones come in, and obviously Optimus can fight over the gap, but Innovation's reinforcement distance isn't too far away. He's going to take a gold base now as his third base, so he's going to keep on expanding too, but he's going to out-cycle and uh, Optimus here pretty quickly, so one Cyclone already drops down, and now he's going to turn for a couple of SCV kills as well. The Cyclone gets repaired out of reach of those Cyclones. We're going to see him turn around and fight once more, and again, a little bit of back and forth, but he's just being outnumbered, Optimus. He can repair up, but it's another SCV going down, and just in general, Innovation is taking such a lead here with these positions, and just even forcing this uh, command center to keep on being repaired. It's SCVs off the mineral line. It's SCVs that are spending minerals on repairing. And Optimus realizes he just can't hold on to it. Innovation takes game two. To the bottom right hand side, our red turn player. It is Innovation. He's going up against the Blue Terran from Team Revolution, Optimus. 2-0 lead for Innovation. Again, it is just a best of three, so he's already won the series, but we do play all of the maps because it's a map test tournament. So in the group stage, we play all the maps just to make sure we see as many of them as much as possible. And that's uh, how we get uh, going into this, basically. So, let's see uh, how this continues on. As you do just have initial setup getting, uh, getting rolling. Racks, gas, or well, gas racks openers here, and we're looking for that second gas to get an idea of what the follow-up is going to be here on Digital Frontier. Now, I, I love the aesthetics of this map. I've said this plenty of times. you got a third base down here, which is pretty normal. You can come around towards this base here if you would like. It's much kind of further away than just naturally coming down here, I feel. It gives you some choices, though, and different ways to expand, and I think this is really one of the just most straight-up normal maps of the map pool. One of the more interesting parts is maybe this set of rocks in the center, which opens up different pathways and just makes it a little bit more different as the game goes by. But otherwise, I think it's just a very straight-up kind of standard map. Gives you some good bases to mine from, gives you some good bases to set up into. I just don't think you can really complain about any aspect of this map in particular. There's a factory coming down into play here from Optimus. Starting to build in that main base. He did take the second gas, so he's not going to expand, whereas Innovation clearly doesn't see anything wrong with his current build order. He feels as though it's safe enough to keep on going. He feels as though there's no need to change anything up. So uh, that's going to continue on and along. So the command center comes in from Innovation, gives them that little bit of economy in the early stages. Here is going to be seeing the Reaper and the Cyclone from Optimus on the way up. Starport coming down at the front as well. And this SCV of Innovation coming through the top side and just going to have Optimus with this Reaper at the front. 
As again, the SCV moving up the top. Looks as though Innovation is going to maybe proxy something, or is he really just scouting? Looks as though he might just be scouting in the end. I mean, with his build, he doesn't really proxy things, or doesn't have the gas for a star port, because he builds a Cyclone and a Hellion now. So he can stock, and, you know, he sort of, sort of plays catch-up for having the later factory. So it's pretty cool. It's an interesting build, bypassing the starport. Now, the kind of the meta of bypassing the starport came around when they buffed the Cyclone Anti-Air, because it meant all of a sudden, you don't need the starport up to deflect Banshees and all sorts. You can do all of this with, you know, Cyclones, basically. So, yeah, it's uh, very interesting to see the first couple of Cyclones. Obviously, the first one will finish a bit faster for innovation, but the second one on its way, too. As the CC morphing into an orbital. This time Optimus did go for the starport himself though, and so with that he is going into a cloak banshee play. And he will be setting up the CC, but again, you'll be able to see Op uh, Innovation defending this with just the Cyclones. He doesn't really need a starport for a Viking for, you know, obviously the Raven would always be nice, but... You know, you don't need the Viking to push this away, whereas in the past you definitely did need it, so... As uh, you see this uh, Cyclone being pushed back. I'm just going to be having the... Uh Hellion coming up to the top side to kind of go from there. Cloak is going to be coming up as well from Optimus in the main base. Another couple of uh, units going to be popping out of this reacted factory in a moment or two as well. As that Cyclone pops up in towards the main base and just going to be seen. Two missile turrets on the way from Innovation. So setting up in towards those of this Cyclone or two. Continues on as well. I mean, Optimus going into his own Cyclone players. Oh my god, though. Look at this interception by Innovation. He grabs it. Does he have a scan? I don't think so. So the high ground will save this Banshee. But oh my god, that could have been devastating. With Cloak not even finished at that point, there's just no way out for Optimus apart from the high ground. And Innovation, well, getting that low already obviously makes it even better to kind of continue on. So, uh, it means that he's just going to be able to clean it up a lot faster now. And the missile turret obviously poking at it brings it even lower too. As he pushes it on in, scans that cloak. Banshee just gets the final shot somehow. That was incredible. I really thought he was out of range. There's four Cyclones against Triple Cyclone now. Is it enough to defend? Another Banshee starting to build. SCVs have to pull in, but obviously Optimus already fallen a little bit behind. The Cyclone still set up just out the front. As you're going to see, this Banshee is just sat to the side of this main base. Another Cyclone arrives. Going to be setting up here in another couple of moments. And this is five Cyclones against three still. Because Optimus' production cycle hasn't finished up. There's the first Cyclone drop in the second. The just rate at which the Cyclone damage increases when you add more Cyclones into play is just too high. And that's Innovation taking game number three. Closing out the series.